All right, so here's their web page, HealTechElectronics.com. You go to products, Speedo Healer V4, and then you scroll down on here, and it gives you online calculator. And click here for online calculator. And which Speedo Healer version do you have? V3 or V4? V4, I want precise based on actual versus indicated speed comparison. And there's estimated based on your gearing changes, etc. Bikes only. None. I know the calibration value just generate instructions. So if you go and do the math by yourself, that's what you would use. Or how to reset to default. So I want precise. Go. And my actual, my speedometer on my bike read 60 miles an hour and the GPS read 49 miles an hour and it says down here it is recommended to note the indicated speed at about 60 miles an hour actual speed so that's in the indicated speed at 60 miles an hour so once you enter those hit enter it's going to give you your calibration 18 negative 18.3 percent generate it'll generate your instructions this is what I took a picture of with my phone as I was going through it but anyway you go out there and you follow these instructions blah 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 and enter it put it back in go test the bike with the GPS speeds match you're good to go so anyways that's their website that's how you do that All right, so we have the speedo healer on, and the next step is to calibrate. So that's how you calibrate a speedo healer. Um, if you have a GPS, use that. My GPS is really freaking old. Don't forget me. To, don't let me forget to get that when I get back. Don't run it over the freaking lawnmower. I don't want to walk back into the garage. Alright, so this GPS is like really freaking old. So hopefully it work. Um, it hasn't been charged in probably like four years. But basically what we're going to do is track our speed on the GPS, or try to anyways. So there's two different ways to do, or a few different ways to do this. If you go on Peeltech's website, um, one of the ways is like you just enter your sprocket size, like the factory sprocket sizes and your sprocket sizes, and then uh, enter those, and it'll tell you about like about where to adjust it to, or there's like the precise way, and that's basically what I'm doing here. You take a GPS, you get on your bike, and you ride it, and you check the GPS speed compared to your your actual speedometer speed and you take that and you go enter it in their website in their calculator it'll add it all up and tell you where do you need to adjust it to and how to adjust the uh, speedo healer and I'll show you guys that when I get back home and go enter these speeds in This will be the first time I upload anything with my with the Bluetooth pack on too. I'm having problems getting the audio quality right, and the mounting of the camera right, the angle. All right, so change of plans. Now we have my expensive iPhone hooked up on here.
so we're going to be doing 65 on my speedometer and see what the iPhone says with the speedo on that. And then we go enter those calculations in and adjust accordingly. So the 65 says I'm doing 53. about 12 mile an hour off so right now we're gonna go inside and type in these calculations and then come back here and uh, set up the speedo healer all right so now that we have our calculations I took a snapshot of the of the screen that uh, tells you what to like how to do it on their website, there it is. I'll also uh, go downstairs and show you guys how to get to this. Um, so basically, here's your speedo healer, and we'll turn the bike on. Flashes A one five. Like I already did it, but I'll go ahead and do it again. Um, you hold both buttons down until it until an L is displayed. and then it flashes the negative uh, press set repeatedly until the negative is blinking it's already blinking push select to move to the next digit um, press set repeatedly until the one is displayed and blinking okay and then until eight is blinking and then until five is blinking and then when five is blinking you press select to call it to complete it so now whenever you turn the bike on and to see if you got it calibrated right a negative one eight point five and so that is calibrated to the settings that it had me put in there Uh, it had a, a negative 18.5 was my settings for it. Um, and now I'll just go uh, test ride it again with the GPS again and see if it's accurate. All right, so this thing's been taking me around. This is like the third time I said it. I don't know what the hell was going on. I don't know if it's the phone GPS was off and screwing up or what, but so I got it set, put my settings in, uh, the negative. 18.3 Get up to well, I'll do 40. I'll do the speed up. There's 40 on my speedometer. 40 on my phone. The phone has a little bit of a lag, but you can get it to hold perfect at the speed for a little bit 41 42 42 so finally got it right it's calibrated now when I'm doing 42 miles an hour on my speedometer I'm actually doing 42 miles an hour for real instead of where it was I was doing the calibration was you do it at 60 miles an hour and then you look at your GPS and the GPS says was reading 49 so 60 and 49 that was the difference about 11 mile an hour off and then uh, it 
Yeah, about 11 mile an hour off, and the calibration was negative 18.3, and now it's dead on. So I was getting worried there for a little bit because I put it in once and went and test drove it, and my speedometer was like way slow. Like it said I was doing like 10, and this thing said I was doing like 25, and I was like, what the hell? So I went back and put it, put like what the calibration was then in and it jacked it all up so I reset it and went out and did it again and put the calculation in again and it came back the same 18.3 which was my original uh, like fix for it and that's what it's at now and it's reading perfect there's 44, 44, 43, 43 so hell yeah we're right on that's what I'm talking about I know how fast I'm going now for real when I see cops on the highway, I don't have to worry. Radar, and I don't have to worry if, if I'm freaking speeding or if I'm not speeding, you know. Guessing at maybe 15 mile an hour. You never know. So, got taken care of now. That's what I like to see. That's my neighbor that just passed me. I He's been watching me go on out of my driveway, in and out of my garage, like every couple minutes for the last hour trying to get this thing calibrated. <laughs> what the hell is that dude doing? But I'm calibrated, I'm good to go. I'll catch you all later.